My name is Steven Scherdorf, and I'm gay. I am queer. Heterosexual. Androgynous and under the transgender umbrella. I'm heterosexual. I identify myself as a gay man. I'm a heterosexual male. I am a homosexual. I am gay. I like men, usually. I'm Mickey Kaufman. I'm a male to female transsexual. The youngest awareness I had of gender identity was around three. Probably around four or five years old. 14 years old, actually, I'm surprised I remember. After seeing the movie Dirty Dancing when I was like, I guess seven or eight, that first dance that Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey have. I joined the Navy mainly to get away from home. I fell in with a group of friends and one of them pulled me aside one day and said to me, well, you're gay. And I said, what is gay? I never heard that, I never heard that word before. In my dream, I was wearing these big earrings like Diana earrings, they look like drawer handles. They were so big and, and pendulous, but they were really beautiful. And I woke up really distraught that I couldn't find them anywhere. And I, and I told my mom I wanted my earrings and I saw the reaction that I got. So I was aware that this was a transgression of some sorts. I don't think I've ever had a single point at which I became you know, aware of my sexual orientation. I think it's been a sort of ongoing process. As a young adult, I came out as a lesbian, that was the only thing that I could pick. I didn't think that uh, I was homosexual. I thought it was a passing fancy. My mom actually started telling people that, you know, I was bisexual and, you know, sort of outing me before I was even ready to, like, you know, have an opportunity. I told my mother, I told my father, and they were very supportive of it. They didn't overreact. They didn't blow anything out of proportion. They just said, looked at me and said, you're my son and I love you. Some of my family members um, would take their nails and dig them into my back and like arch my shoulders and I would have to like be forced to walk like this because males walked like that. I was teased for my sort of skinny, you know, sort of androgynous body. You're flat chested. That's like a big word in seventh grade. You're so flat chested. It was called titty boy, titty girl. I thought, well, I guess, pfft. I'm never gonna have a boyfriend if that's what it's all about. The way sexuality shaped my life um, has something to do with my profession being an actor. Working in cities like this very closely with a lot of attractive women. Feeling the pressure from my parents to not be gay, I think I kind of turned inward. Playing music, I played the viola, uh, playing the piano, reading. Um, I'm now an editor and a, a writer. Having that instability of gender caused some instability, but it also caused a wisdom. And gave my understanding and dimension that perhaps is unique and, and, and something I can contribute. I don't define myself on my sexuality. It's a part of who I am, but it's not what I am.